guys happy sunday we're out at wind spots downhill carting this is what it looks like behind me and i'm going to take you along i'm here with my friends Hello. yeah we are eight of us so yeah so first things first we need to get the helmet i think you should get orange can i have an orange one please can you help me? Can you help me? Too? We wear the glasses. Then I think they said something about attaching a camera to your head. If you want. Extra fifteen dollars. Okay. So we're ready to go. I we can't video when we're going downhill. So sorry, there'll be no videos. We're going to be starting from the what they call that thing. Up there. What's this thing called? Where you take the, gondola. the cable car, gondola, or whatever. Yeah. So this will take you all the way down to the track there. I don't know if you can see all the way to the track there, and then you can now go ahead and park. So we are now on the cable car or gondola or whatever the name of this thing is. So of course there was a queue and yeah, so if you come during the weekday, you would avoid the queue. But if you come on the weekends, you will definitely be stuck on the queue. Also, we had a group ticket. So group tickets are cheaper, but if you're going for a single ticket, I think it's about $34. And $34 takes you on three rounds as you you go on three laps, you drive on three laps. That's it. quiet up here no noise very zen but well, if you're afraid of heights i don't think you want to be up here but yeah we're almost at the end and it's time for us to start with the go cutting spot and uh, my phone would have to be inside my bag because i can't film and be cutting so let's so it's our turn this is half of our group and many half of us are going to get say cheese <laughs> Hi. Hi. This was such a fun activity. It makes you feel like a child again, which is something that as adults every now and then we need to feel. Uh you get pictures and videos, some free pictures and videos, and yeah. We had so much fun and we are done. And yeah, now we're going home or whatever. I'm not even sure what the plan is with these guys. But knowing these guys, I know that there's another plan inside this plan. <laughs> we should not form a hand. <laughs> See, our master of planning, is there another plan after this plan? Yes. Can I, can I take us to, can to, I the club, to the club? Which club? Can I take us to Canada? <laughs> now free, now free hangouts, now we speak. We are doing only free stuff. Free, free or cheap hang. And it's a wrap! Hi guys, welcome back to another weekend. Welcome back to another weekend uh so today is saturday and it's the long weekend another long weekend in <laughs> in canada and i'm here with my favorite girls one of my favorite girls one of my favorite girls intentionally saying that because queen esther will say hate if she's watching this video and sees and that's because she and her partner are going in a separate car and the four of us so myself k toby and she are going in sorry are going in their car so we're actually driving, we're going on a road trip to Silver, Sylvan Lake. But well, first things first, you already know, whenever we're going on a road trip, we need to stop at Timmy's to pick up coffee and breakfast. 
so yeah two coffee two water because some people are now counting their calories and taking their health seriously so the coffee are for the husbands while the water is for us we that are the healthy people of the family they are actually healthy but we are not we are counting calories they are not that is them so i'm pretty sure you are aware that when it is winter it is winter in calgary or in alberta so we decided that this summer we're going to go out as much as possible which is why we are on this road trip there is sylvan lake i think it's about two hours drive from calgary so the boys took turns in driving so she drove us to sylvan lake and then toby brought us back so basically come along let's go to sylvan lake let me see what this whole sylvan lake is about because i've been hearing about it i didn't do a google search which is probably the first problem of this trip but anyway let's go there and see what they have for us i slept almost throughout this trip let me not lie because i get car sick when we are traveling long distance by car but yeah so hi guys, we are at Sylvan Lake and myself and Kim, we found a spot here. We met with the other guys, so this is basically our corner. We have food and all. But this is the place. It's very, very underwhelming. Very, very underwhelming. So I don't know what I was expecting. I was expecting like a beach, a big place, blah, blah, blah. I didn't even Google where we're coming. But yeah, it is what it is. My hair is old, so, so old. I'm even, please let me wear my cap. yeah so i'll just show you guys the view i'm just going to sit down here lie down here eat read a book i put my feet in the water when i need to so basically this is what it looks like oh we have a beautiful view here so that's good like by beautiful view i mean these people but yeah this is basically it. this is the lake it's so packed there are so many people everywhere it's just a hot mess anyway i brought Colin Hoover with me, my bag of stuff, water, chicken, key, and everything I need is here. <laughs> and this key. Trying to find some balance in my life. I never really put up a fight. And now I'm losing sleep. What if I lost touch? Today is Sunday and I'm in the elevator because I'm going to go and do my nails. You see what it is? We came back yesterday. Like I said, that place we went to was very underwhelming. Like the location itself, the people were fun. We were able to do some shared activities, which was cool. But the place itself, the vibe wasn't just, I don't know. So I broke a nail while playing ball on the water. On the lake. Yeah, so I broke a nail while uh, playing beach ball or while playing ball on the lake, right? And the nails are already terrible. If you see my toenails, yay! My toenails are so disgraceful at this point. So I was just like, I look so scruffy. My nails are a mess, both toes and fingers. My hairline, like the front one, is completely gone. I've removed most of them because somewhere dragging my edges and then it's really old that's why there's this scarf there although the braids itself are still shining so yeah but the front i'm going to have to cover it up until i figure out what to do next with my hair uh yeah so today i want to go and quickly do a mini self-care day so basically take care of my money and petty so, so what has been going on with me uh nothing much I posted a video about my fibroids and I got so many kinds of comments to be honest like I got the of course the most of them were the comments saying praying for me praying for healing and just positive comments while the other percentage were kind of weird comments I got comments like is your fault or insinuating it was my fault insinuating that i'm still eating things that i'm not supposed to be eating and i'm just like you're not my doctor so i also got some comments recommending things to me which thank you for sharing but 
when I put out posts like that, I'm not necessarily asking for help. Like I said, I made that video because I was frustrated that I lost a friend. Like, it's so funny that a lot of you watched that video and didn't hear the part that I said my friend died. But rather, we were all focusing on giving me solutions. I lost a friend to something. Like, you know what? Let's forget about it. Okay guys, so I'm done and these are the nails. I really like them, really like them. The girl did such an amazing job. And I'm just going to test it out and see how long they last. Hope they don't break, hope they don't chip because if they don't, I think I finally found a place I can come to. And the girl was really nice, really friendly. Yeah, anywho, now that my nails are done, and my toes are now looking decent. Uh, my hair is the next thing to figure out, which, I, like I said, I don't know what to do yet. I'm going to just keep tying a band here first. Plus, yeah, if you are doing your hair, nails, toes, everything in the same weekend, you already know that you're just going to spend too much money. So let's push that a little further ahead. That's the hair. Maybe I'll take, I'll, I'll hold it up again for another, say, two weeks and then we'll figure something out. But yeah, anyways, I'm supposed to go back home to go do laundry, but I want to quickly get a bigger laundry basket because I do my laundry in the basement of my building. And what that means is I have to start packing like those bags. So I'm looking for, I'm looking to see if I can get like a very big laundry basket so I can do when we are going to do laundry, we can just carry it one time rather than carrying multiple bags. So I want to quickly head into Dollarama to see if I can find a big laundry basket, right? I'm already looking at Dollarama in front of me. But yeah, that's the plan for this afternoon. Then I think when Esther texted me and she was like, she wants to come down to to see if we can go check out this of Calgary. So there is like a food event happening somewhere in downtown. They have like different stalls selling different foods and you try it out another venue to go and spend money but yeah if she's going to come downtown then we might as well just go there so i don't know what time she said five so this is like 2 10 so i have about three more three hours to go so once i buy this i'll go home and eat because i haven't had breakfast or lunch i had I actually had breakfast i had a cup of yogurt for breakfast so i'll go home and have lunch and then when she comes, we can go. Yep, yep. See ya. Hola, hola, hola. A few hours later, I've got, gone home to rest. And I'm back out because I need to complete my steps. And I'll be going for Taste of Calgary in about 45 minutes. I'm just walking for the next 45 minutes if I meet up with my friends. And then we can go. I had to put on a jacket now because the temperature has dropped and with this spaghetti heat up thingy it will not work but how everywhere is quiet on this street wow i love it i love it so much <laughs> Stars are shining bright. Yeah, we should stay up. So that. So first things first, we have to get tickets. Just keep holding me, don't let me go. Everything's so magical. All I need is you tonight. If I shut my eyes, keeping them closed, all of the senses exposed. Even me under the sky. Let's stay up all night. Give our hearts a new. So first things first, we've gotten tickets. So in order for you to purchase anything on this, uh, in this event, you need to buy tickets at the ticketing counter. And one ticket costs one dollar, and then you can go around each store and then decide what you want to buy. So what what has happened here is everybody has gotten like small amount of tickets. We have I have ten. K has ten. 
Quinesta has 20, 20, so she's the richer auntie. And Alero also has 20, so they are the rich people. So them, they'll buy the food, we'll taste it. If it's nice, we'll not go and use our money. Yes, now. Okay. Four for Yeah. Economics major. <laughs> wow. every second, every minute, we were high on life. Didn't waste our time, didn't sleep as much as now. So the first thing that we are going to be trying out is what are we trying out today? Mango. It's called mango. Fresh mango sticky rice. No, no. Mango peach. No. Sticky rice. Yeah. It's sticky rice. Mango fresh rice. mango. Fresh mango sticky rice. I honestly don't. It's a mango thingy. It's it's mango with peppers, basically. That's what she's trying. So, I tried it last year. It was really good. So. Okay. We shall see. So this is the mango and pepper thingy, and this is the pe <laughs> This is the person who ordered it, so I don't know. So let's see. Um. I don't like this pressure. Go ahead. <laughs> Did you like it? Did you? It's all right. Yeah, thank you. It's not worth seven dollars. Nah, come on. Maybe three. Yep, they keep going back to the cup. I can't believe these people. Yet they kept it's not worth it yet. See them, see them, see them. So for the mango pepper combination, I think I'll give it a seven over ten. Up next, boba. I've never had boba before, so we decided to buy boba. And uh yeah, let me also see. What it is like, and I will face it. B1 looks sad. <laughs> Wait, okay, so B1 was made to buy yeah, bubble tea. Okay, okay. She was my convinced. Like that. She was convinced that my the bubble tea was awesome. What, like, what's your review, ma'am? What? <laughs> Her face is the review. You see those bubbles? I don't you don't like them, right? That's the highlight of the show. That's the highlight. Your face doesn't. <laughs> My face does not know how to hide emotion, and that's what happened here. Uh, this boba was okay, but I do not like tapioca. When I found out that the boba seeds itself is made of tapioca, it was not. I didn't like it anymore. Anyway, I would rate it a five, five and a half over ten because it wasn't entirely bad. Up next, we tried to check out Mina's Brazilian Steakhouse. So they had meat. So I was like, yes, we have to eat meat. Then there was this interesting thing. So that thing that you see that is rounded, it's called cassava balls. And I was like, what do you mean you grated cassava and turned it into balls? I was very, very interested in tasting and having a taste of what it, it was. So this was what we ordered. And this is what it looks like and it was yum so for the steakhouse i will give them 7.5 over 10. yeah b1 is trying to negotiate ice cream for us and lemonade it feels like so after almost using up all our tickets we left it like 11 dollars and we decided to go for gelato and a lemonade and yeah this lemonade was very good i liked it it was strawberry lemonade and this was my happy dance i had such a good day eating different cuisines here at the taste of calgary and it was time to go home so today is monday and this was actually the long weekend if you ask me right now what this monday why we had public holiday in canada on this monday i would not know i spent the whole day sleeping i really really loved that i slept and in the evening i decided to go on my daily 10k walks i've been taking more than 10k which i'm very happy about i'm actually on the 29 now which means i've been walking every single day for the past 29 days for more than 10 key steps which is very impressive on this day the sky looked really beautiful and there were people out kayaking and biking running so many outdoor activities happen in the summer in calgary and to be honest it's so exciting to see that in a couple of months time this place that looked really green beautiful with so many people outside is going to become 
a complete dry white place like i cannot wait to come back to this place and make a video in winter and compare it so yeah so far so good the summer has been lovely i've been having the best time going out and if you notice this summer i have really stayed on a budget because i'm trying not to overspend money this summer so i've not really done any activity that has been cost extensive it has mostly been low-key low-key activities and i like that which means one of these days we're going to sit down and talk about money on this channel because it has been a while i need to tell you about how I've been able to transition in terms of moving from a different country, earning in a different currency, how I'm able to save, how what I'm learning about the economy here and how I'm managing my finances, what my financial plan is and all of that stuff that we used to talk about back when I was in Poland. But yeah, everywhere looks peaceful right now. We'll talk about money next time. Okay? Okay. Hi guys. Just on my evening walk and yeah, I have been taking clips of nature i've just been enjoying nature on this walk and yeah i'm headed back home now and uh, just thought to say hi because i've just been filming and not saying one thing so yeah hi guys happy saturday and yeah the braids are coming off the braids are finally coming off i just came back from my morning run or walk it wasn't a run it was actually a walk and i I was just like, it's time for this hair to finally go. I'm done. Because as you can see, some of the edges are already loose. And this was not today. This was a while back. But yeah, completely trying to see if I can lose this hair and go to the salon this morning. Sorry, later today, not this morning. Because I went there to ask them if they have availability to take me. And they said if I come much later. Like in a few hours. I don't know if I can listen this in a few hours. I've cut it. Step number one. I hope I'm able to just dedicate like the next one hour and finish it without any struggle. But me, I don't know how to listen here. But let's see how it's going to happen. I'm going to beg she to work with me here and let's see how we can make it. I'm actually trying to do sew-ins. The last time I did a sewing was back in 2017 or 16, thereabouts. I haven't done it soon in till then since then sorry I haven't done it soon in till then soon in so in english i've not made that hair since then so i want to see if i can make it now um if i like it and it's durable because they told me there at the salon that i can come for a refresh after four weeks and they would wash and restraighten and all of that or is it for three weeks so i want to see if that's going to be possible and if it is then that will be the new hairstyle so i actually have a wig that the wig cap is too tight i want to take down the weave from the wig and then go and use it for sewing so let's see how that goes but yeah happy saturday Like the lady took her time i'm so in love with this hair so so in love with this hair anyway i guess it's safe to say that swings are back and they are back to stay because i like how i look i like my face in this hair and um yeah she told me that you know the amazing part she told me that uh, if I wear it out for a couple of weeks, say two to three weeks, and the curls are no longer as it is, or I want it refreshed and also my hair, I can come back and she can refresh it for an extra 30 bucks. And I was like, yeah, I will be back. But yeah, this is really, really, I think I, it was $100 and uh, that's the cheapest I've seen so far. So $100 to 
hundred dollars to to do this hair and it's my wig and i get to reuse it over and over and over again i think it's a fairer deal compared to making braids because i had to cut those braids off and the money that i paid for the braids <laughs> and also how much i bought the attachment itself so all a waste so i think i think i have found my new signature hairstyle I hope I don't get tired of it, but I think that this is what I'm just going to do. I have another straight wig that the weave, the wig cap is also bad. I need to fix it, but I can't make any changes until I go to Nigeria or until I find someone who would make it cheaper, which is definitely back in Nigeria. So maybe I would be taking turns. So I would do the coil, the wavy one, and then I would switch to the straight one. But basically this is going to be my new hair by the way guys i didn't do anything to my hair my hair is still natural all they did was to stretch it out and they suppressed it basically how they would normally suppress my hair so yeah i feel beautiful i look beautiful i know that this is my hair i am so happy about this i'm so happy so this is your sign to look for any of your good wigs that are giving you a headache when you wear them like the cap is too tight and turn it into a sew in anyway guys hope you guys enjoyed this vlog do not forget to like do not forget to subscribe do not forget to comment do not forget to share and i will see you guys whenever i see you i wanted to say next week but i've been inconsistent but yeah i'll see you soon i'll see you next week definitely Bye. I reach through mysterious ceilings.